hello everyone this is power up with powerpoint welcome to my next video on powerpoint basics and in this video we are going to learn some basics about shapes first we are going to learn different methods of drawing these shapes and then we will see what are adjustable shapes in powerpoint and then we will see what are edit points in powerpoint using which we can modify any shapes and lastly we will see how to rotate a shape and what are the different methods that are available in powerpoint for rotating any shapes so let's get started There are two methods of drawing a shape in PowerPoint. Let me go to insert tab and then choose any shape. I am going to choose oval shape here. The first method is you can left click your mouse button on slide and then leave it. That will create a shape for you. There are two important points to notice here. The first thing is though you have chosen the oval shape here, this method will create the perfect circle for you. The second point is you don't have the control over the size of this shape when you are actually creating it. You can increase the size of this shape later that is different matter but you actually don't have the control over the size of this shape when you are actually creating or drawing it using single click mouse button. The second method is let me choose the shape again and again I am going to choose the oil shape. This time I am not going to leave the left click mouse button rather I am going to hold it and then draw the shape. So I am not leaving the left click mouse button. Here now you can see you have the control over the size of this shape and also you have control over the dimension of this shape. How big it has to be whether it has to be elongated vertically or whether it has to be elongated horizontally. Once you are okay with the shape. You can leave the left click mouse button and the shape will be created for you. So now looking at the second method, you people can think second method is far more better than the first method. But we have problem with second method as well. Let me show you what exactly it is. If I go to shape and then choose oil again. And this time I am planning to create a perfect circle which is bigger in size using second method. So if I don't leave my left click mouse button. This shape keeps on elongating in the direction of pull and that is what it makes bit challenging to create a perfect circle. I am not saying it is impossible to create but even if you create you will not be sure whether it is a perfect circle or not. So to create the perfect shapes which are bigger in size what you can do is let me choose the oil shape again. Before you draw the shape you need to hold shift key and then drag the shape with the left click mouse button. So by doing this you can create the perfect shape and also you have control over the size of shape. One thing to notice here is the size of the shape will keep on increasing in the direction of your pull. Once you are okay with the size and shape you can leave the left click mouse button and the shape will be created for you. There is another way of creating this kind of shapes. Let me choose the oil shape again and this time I am going to hold control plus shift key both and then draw the shape. This time you will see the shape will be created through the center of the circle. Means this particular shape will keep on increasing along the radial direction. So this is other way of creating the shape. Let me show you another example. This time I am going to choose rectangle and I am going to hold shift key and then draw the shape. It will create a perfect square but this shape is being elongated in the direction of my mouse pull. Again I am going to choose the rectangle but this time I am going to hold control plus shift key and then draw the shape. This time it will keep on increasing in all the four directions. So this is the basic difference of creating the shape using shift key and control plus shift key. Now we will see how to adjust and shape in powerpoint and also there are something called readily adjustable shapes. We will go through that as well. Let me go to insert type and then choose a rectangle here. Hold on the shift key and then draw the perfect square. Once you draw the shape 
and if you want to increase the size of this shape but you still want to maintain it as a square then you need to hold on the shift key again and then drag this side corner this is important so you will see the size of this shape will go on increasing but it will remain as a perfect square but if you want to convert this particular shape in the form of rectangle then you don't have to hold any hot keys like shift or control key you just need to drag this side of this particular square with the help of mouse it will be converted in the form of rectangle so this is how you adjust the shapes in powerpoint there are another form of shapes which are readily adjustable let me go to insert tab and then choose the hollow circle here for example hold on the shift key to draw the perfect circle so in this particular shape you will see an orange color dot here using this dot you can adjust the diameter of internal circle these kind of shapes are called readily adjustable shapes in powerpoint and this particular control point will help you to increase or decrease the diameter of internal circle if you want to increase the diameter of external circle then you need to follow the same process like holding the shift key and then you need to drag the corner points the next important concept in powerpoint is something called edit points and we will see how to make use of edit points to modify any shape into a free form what i mean by free form shape is you will not be restricted to modify a shape in the form of square rectangle or circles you can make use of edit points and you can modify the shape in any way you want let me show you what i mean i will go to insert tab and then choose the rectangle and then draw the rectangle without holding any hot keys like shift or control to access the edit points of this rectangle i need to select the shape first and then right click and then choose edit points after you enter into the edit points mode you will see there will be four black color points on each of these corners these black points are known as edit points and each of these edit points will have two handles each and each of these handles will have a control point of white square box you can hold that square box and drag it outside to make this particular side curvy the more you drag it the more it becomes curvy you can hold this particular white square box as well and drag it outside to make this side curvy and these edit points are extendable to any length and any angle with respect to the origin point there are few hotkeys that we can make use to edit any particular shape using these handles the first hotkey is shift key you can press the shift key on your keyboard and drag any particular handle you will see now both the handles will be opposite to each other even if you drag one particular handle the other handle will also increase in the same length so this is the function of shift hotkey the next hotkey is control key you can press the control key and drag any particular handle now you will see even though both the handles are opposite to each other the length of both the handles is independent so this is the function of control key the last hotkey is alt key you can press the alt key on your keyboard and then drag any particular handle this will make both the handles independent of each other both in terms of length and also in terms of angle and last but not the least topic on edit points is to learn how to create additional edit points so to create additional edit points you need to make use of control hot key you need to press the control on your keyboard and then click on the side of shape wherever you click the edit point will be created for you and each of these edit points will have the handles you can make use of those handles and then modify the shape as per your requirement that's all about edit points lastly we will see how to rotate a shape in powerpoint i have created one rectangle for the sake of example so to rotate this particular shape i will select that and then go for shape format and under the arrange category i will find the options called rotate by default it has four options using which you can rotate a shape by 90 degree towards right you can rotate this shape 90 degree towards left also you can flip vertical and you can flip horizontal but apart from this standard 90 degree if you want to rotate any shape by smaller angles then you can go for more options here and then increase the angle of rotation here 
the shape will be rotated in smaller angles. But apart from the standard options, PowerPoint will also give the options to use special hotkeys to rotate any shape. The first hotkey is you need to hold on the Alt key and then make use of your left and right arrow keys to rotate the shape towards left or towards right by 15 degrees each. The second hotkey is you can hold Ctrl and Alt key together and then make use of left and right arrow keys on your keyboard to rotate a shape towards left and right by 1 degree each. So this is all about rotating a shape in PowerPoint. And that comes to the end of my video. I guess this video was useful and you learned something new in this. If that is the case, please subscribe to my channel, give a like to this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.